What is that? What is that? What is that? Everybody? Um, I know I haven't posted in a few days, but that's because I actually have a couple of strikes on my channel that have to deal with music and shit because certain people ended up doing some shit, but yeah. But uh, I just thought I'd pop in tonight and say what's up to you guys, do a little do a little coffee and chill like I used to back in the day. You know, and if you guys are new to this, there's a series I used to do on here called coffee and chill streams where i would just hang out have a good time chill out and have fun and during these coffee and chill streams i would usually do you know music um i would review different stuff like um music videos uh, trailers for a new anime series that was coming up, um, so, but, uh, unfortunately, the vocal covers are not going to be a thing right now, due to the fact that I have two strikes on my channel, thanks to certain assholes, but it's all good. Yo, Cyrix fan, what's good, bro? Good to see you, bud. Hey, Jack. Uh, what on the kick? I am actually focusing my attention over to here so I can hit 2,000 subs by the end of the year. Because I do want to get my YouTube uh, my YouTube channel up to where my kick is at, uh, viewership-wise and follower and subscriber-wise. So I'm really putting in the effort on here to do that. So I'm basically taking a massive long break from kick so i can actually do shit over here you see what i'm saying because i want this channel to be successful the same way that it used to be back in the day before all the troll crap and i want to be able to get my youtube to the same level that my kick is at you see what i'm saying like i want my youtube channel to do just as good as my kick is on because right now dude my kick's sitting good my kick's at a really good place right now to where i could leave my kick for a year and it would still do really well so my kick is at a very good point right now in its lifespan now i have to come back here and you know get this platform up to that same level Plus, I have a sponsorship that I'm working on getting gaming-wise that I've really been interested in for the last couple of years now. And now that I'm at a good place in my life to where I can start doing that, I'm good. <laughs> uh, but I do apologize that I haven't um, uploaded anything on this channel recently, guys. It's just, like I said... I currently have two, um, I currently have two, um, they're not really strikes, they're like claims that I'm working on getting done, but outside of that though, man, everything's going good, um, you know, I've just been hanging out here at the house, uh, working on music a lot more. Uh, for those of you wondering, am I still working on the metal albums? Yes, I am. I also am working on a few other projects as well. But uh, gaming-wise, I do have a lot of gaming content that's going to be coming out very, very soon. Um, one of those actually being me jumping back into Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, playing the new game, the finals that just came out recently. Mm, sorry, y'all. Got a fucking stuffed on nose, man. Been sick the last few days, but I'm not letting that stop me. But 
but if you guys haven't heard of that game, the finals that came out recently, I am working on that. Um, I also am going to be doing some gameplay of one of my personal favorite games, uh, Gundam Revolution, or no, Gundam Evolution, my bad. But if you guys don't know, I'm a massive, massive Gundam fan. Grew up playing the Gundam games, grew up watching the series, uh, the Endless, the Endless Waltz movie, which is one of the best Gundam movies, hands down. So I will be doing a little bit of Gundam Evolution as well. Um, definitely popping in on some Fortnite for sure. Um, art stream wise, I will be doing some art streams as well in the very near future as well. So there is that. Uh, when the art streams will be happening, I'm not sure, but. Yo, uh, Bray, can I see something? Sure, man, what's your question? And Adriana, if that's actually you, message me on Facebook right now. Let me know that that's actually you. Message me on Facebook right now. If that's actually you, message me on Facebook right now. And let me know if that's you. Yo, bro, what's your question? What's going on? Ah, uh, give me one second here. Yeah, I'm gonna do something real quick. All right, there you go, Adriana. I just unblocked you, so if that is you, you can message me. But I need to know that it's actually you, and not some fake. So there you go. Holy shit. Do I think blocking people is conducted to active growth? Yes, I do. When it comes to toxic people, those are the people that need to get blocked. Because I don't want toxic people in my community. I want good people. What's up with my nose? I'm not with my nose, dude. This one got stuffed up. Hang on. Are you sure you messaged the right one? Hold on, let me check. Yep, you're a fake. You did not message me. I just checked. So, uh, yeah. A goodbye. And here's the thing. Yo, Joseph, what up, dude? But, yo, Brad, to answer your question, a lot of the shit I did back in the day, I do take responsibility for. Like, when it comes to the way I acted, I do take responsibility for that, for how I reacted. But, you also have to understand, I was manipulated a lot of the times into acting the way that I did. Did I want to be that way? No. I was manipulated and pushed into a position where 
I felt like I had no choice but to do that to protect my family. You see what I'm saying? The shit I did, I didn't like doing that, but I had to in order to protect my family. Because a lot of people don't realize that my family was attacked in real life. Outside of YouTube, they were attacked a lot. And I did what I had to do to protect my family. Like, and don't get me wrong, a lot of times I was in the right for doing what I did, but at the same time, you know, I did what I had to do to protect my family. Because a lot of people don't realize that for me, family means everything. I am very much a family-driven person. You know, not just my stepdad not just my mom but my family as a whole you know i have friends that i grew up with that are my childhood best friends that are literally like family to me yo ashley what up yo ashley um how you doing but you know a lot of people don't know this about me, so I'm going to fill you guys in here. And one of the reasons why I take my family so seriously is because of the fact that when I was born, I was born one pound, ten ounces, and was not supposed to live. I had one kidney and one very severely underdeveloped lung. To the point where I had to be put in an incubator for about six months. The doctors said, every, doc, every doctor in there except one doctor who was my godmother gave me a 1% chance of survival. Think about that. 1% chance. Can you believe that? 1 fucking percent. And yet, here I am 33 years later. If it wasn't for my mom who adopted me, well, she was initially my grandmother and then she adopted me making her my mom. But, you know, if she hadn't adopted me and gotten the doctors to do what they did, I wouldn't be here right now. Like, I literally would not be here right now if, you know, I didn't go through what I went through. And that's why I always say, when I stared the Grim Reaper in the, in the face and flipped him off and said, fuck you, not today, that's because I basically did. Like, I shouldn't even be here. But yet, here I am, 33 years later. Mass, whole, here, alive, doing well. So. And you know, actually, I'm doing good. Wireless Castle, Turtle, Dunlock Band, I'm, I don't know who that person was, but my guess is they probably did something stupid. Not everybody, Keith. There's a few people that haven't, so doses. I was not on it all yesterday, dude. I was hanging out the whole time, dude. I was hanging out doing shit. Actually, if anything, I was sitting down working on music all day. So. No, it wasn't Tibbs. Oh, it was the GTA stream. Yeah, that's because he probably did something stupid. Yo, Connor, what up, dude? How you doing, Connor? If y'all don't know Connor, man, I actually met Connor over on Tibbs' stream. Man, what's good, Connor? How you doing, bro? Welcome to my little humble part of this crazy-ass platform. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
How you doing, dude? What's up? But if you guys are new to the coffee and chill live streams, basically what I do is I just do like I'm doing now. I hang out with you guys. I chop it up with you guys about the content that I'm going to be making, hanging out with you guys, letting y'all know where I'm at music-wise and all that shit. Like, I love hanging out and showing y'all, you know, what I'm really about. And for all y'all that have seen me in the way, way beginning before all the troll shit, I appreciate you guys sticking around. You guys are fucking awesome. Because there are a few people that have stuck around since, like, literally I started on YouTube back in 09. So for y'all that have stuck around since 09, appreciate you guys. Yo, Tiz is cool as fuck, bro. Like, and I can honestly say, man, if it was not for Tibbs, I would not have gotten away from the bullshit that I got away from. I really wasn't that. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, this is a brand new uh, seat. Believe it or not, this is actually, it's not the actual one. This is actually a, um, like, if you guys have ever seen, like, the old school muscle cars or the old school Porsches, this is actually the same style that they do those in. So this new chair I got is literally basically just a Porsche style racing chair, I guess you could say. It's not official, but actually he's not plot twist, so this is mine. But yo, Connor, I got you, bro. Standard. Get Ash up in here. Yeah, dude, I've been doing this. I've been doing this YouTube shit for that fucking long, bro. Have I had trouble with loading Forza? No, I haven't. I've actually been doing really good on there. I haven't. I haven't been on there in a while. But I do know that the last time I was on, which was a few days ago, it started right up. So, I'm good as far as Forza goes, man. I create race events. Oh, no shit. You're damn right, Frank uh, Finkelberg. And if y'all wondering where I got the Goblin King name from, funny story, a lot of the trolls called me that and it just it ended up sticking like i ended up running with it and it ended up sticking so now you know how i kind of got that weird nickname so hence how i came out with goblin gaming fun fact oh yeah they definitely are yo bet dude uh, as soon as I can, dude, as soon as I can get Game Pass back, I will let you know, man. As soon as I can get Game Pass back, because I don't have Game Pass right now, because mine just ran out for the month, and I do have to get it again. But, dude, as soon as I get my Game Pass back, let me know your gamer tag. Um, Mary, La uh, something or other. I don't, I'm, I'm trying not to butcher your name, <laughs> But as soon as I get my game pass back up and running, let me know your gamer tag. I'm definitely down. Because I have a few rare cars on there that I think you might want to get your hands on. And if you guys don't know, when it comes to the Forza games, I love collecting the cars, man. Whether they're old school, new school. The only, kind of, the only cars I do not fuck with are the electric ones. I do not do those new electric ones like the electric Mustang. I used... The, oh, pardon me. I used the electric Mustang at one point. Not my thing. I was I was not a fan of the electric Mustang. 
I'm sorry, but I love my old school Mustangs, man. I love to hear. I like to hear my engine. I don't like to hear batteries. I like to hear my engine going off. That's how you know I'm a. That's how you know I'm a car guy. I would rather hear a fucking V8 engine going off in my car and going rowdy rather than a fucking electric battery. I don't do the battery shit. Not saying that the battery power cars are ugly because a lot of them are fucking sick. A lot of them are really freaking nice. But for me, I would rather hear my engine than hear a battery. Thank you very much. Exactly my point, Mink. Well, I mean, you do to an extent, but it's like, it's almost like a whiny kind of noise. Like, it almost sounds like a fucking jet engine trying to take off, but it's like really, really low and really quiet. Fucking weird. I think one thing you need to learn about me, bro. Alright, here he alright, so here's a contradicting question for you. Here's a question for you. And I'm not doing this to start a fight, but I want you to think about this. When the power grid goes down. Like, let's say the power grid goes down. Right? Let's say, just right now, for pure example, let's say all the power in the world's down. Power grid's down. Can't charge your car. Can't charge your phone. Can't do nothing. How are you going to get anywhere? Your electric cars are dead. You have no way to charge it. Hence, why I would rather have an old school car. Because if the power grid goes down, you can always get gas. You can always get gasoline from, you know, any gas station or whatever. Because they do have ways where you can pump it manually into the car. Hence why I would rather take... Dude, I would rather take an old school fastback Mustang from the 80s over a new electric car. Yo, Bugatti is my shit, bro. Bugatti is one of the, like, one of the rare cars I fucks with. Well, guess what? That's not going to work, is it? And sorry, dude. No drama allowed here, fam. This is literally a drama-free zone, man. No drama, no garbage, and no trolls. Definitely. I only got 19. Oh, yeah, let me read this car right here. I hit 300 miles an hour on floors of road. Yo, no shit. Congrats, man. That's what's up, dude. Dude, Lambos are, are a fun freaking ride, dude. I've never driven one, but I've actually ridden in one a few times, and those things are so nice. Because one of my buddies that used to live here, um, he actually has both an old school, uh, like the early, like the early old school Porsches, like the the uh, 935s, like the really old ones that have like the wide body kits so on. The one where you can do the, R, the um, RWB kits, he's got one of those, and he's actually got an old school uh, 90s style Lambo, and dude, those things are, dude, both cars, fucking nice. You guys are probably thinking, well, what does he do for a living? He's actually a teacher that travels, the, he basically travels the world and teaches, and that's where he gets paid from doing that, so. Yo, bet, bro. Don't worry, bro. I ain't mad. I'm just, I'm just stating the facts. You know what I mean? Oh, 100 percent. I have 190 cars in 
My garage. Hey, don't feel bad, dude. I have less than you, bro. Yo, Mary, don't feel bad. I have way less cars in my garage than you do right now. Because you got to figure. I'm starting over on a whole new account on my Xbox. So, I have way less cars than you got. Now, if we're talking Forza Horizon 4. Wait, let's put it this way. You give me Forza Horizon 4. I literally have every car in the game. Except for like one or two DLC cars. I have every single car from season one up until they stopped and they started doing horizon five so yes i have every single car and rare car in forza horizon four which i am proud to say that i have every single car in that game that's a good job playing horizon four thomas i'm <laughs> hey what up dude when did I lose my egg? Like, it's, it's so tiny. Well, believe it or not, Bria, that edge that I had, I do still have that edge, but a lot of people took me having that edge and they basically turned it into something evil that I never wanted to be. Oh, I definitely do still have a fight in me, but back then, like, looking back now, I kind of see that me doing that was the wrong move. I mean, granted, yes, a lot of the shit that happened, like, with that dude showing up to my house and the Marty shit in the past, like, you know, that was warranted because I was just protecting my family. I was protecting my own. But here's the thing. This is something I had to learn over time, you know. Do I play War Thunder? Yes, I do. A lot of people don't know this, but I actually like games like that. I'm very, I'm very military ridden, so to speak, because obviously everybody knows about my now former dad and how he was in the military and shit. So like, I'm all about military games, man. Anything from Call of Duty. All the way down to War Thunder. Um, even games like Cross Out. Am I still into scrapping? Eh, not really. Plus one, it's fucking... It's freezing out. I ain't doing that shit, bro. I ain't going outside when it's freezing out. Because my body hates the cold. I don't do cold. How am I making money right now? I am currently not making money at this point, but I am working on that. I am currently working on getting my channel up to where my kick is. Hell, Thomas here can tell you, man, I have over literally a thousand followers over on kick. And I'm working on getting this platform up to that point. When I'm doing my job, uh, which one? Because I've had several jobs between scrapping and this. Because I was signed to a label. I got dropped because of obvious garbage. Um, I've had a few jobs that I ended up losing because of the garbage. Actually, Bria, I am. By me doing what I'm doing now... By me, you know, working on this platform, this is me doing something about it. Hey, don't feel bad, Georgia. My body hates the cold. My body does not do well with cold. It's funny. I was born in the coldest state in the U.S., but I hate the cold. What the hell? Yeah. Hang on, y'all. Be right back. Y'all sit down, hang out amongst yourselves. I'll be right back.
Man, sorry that I just had to do something right quick. Had to help shovel a little bit of snow out because my stepdad's getting ready to go to work here in a bit, so had to help out with that. Oh, favorite food for me? Anything homemade. I know it sounds biased, but anything homemade and anything Japanese. I love traditional Japanese food. Oh, yo, fish and chips, tartar sauce, bro. Yes. Connor, you read my mind, motherfucker. You read my mind on that one, bro. I can't turn down a good fish fry. I can't turn down a thing of good fish, bro. Especially spicy, bro. Yo, Joseph, what up, man? Lieutenant Colombo. <laughs> Yo, I agree with Lieutenant Colombo. Any kind of pizza. I'll do any kind of pizza. I just don't do anchovies. I do not do anchovies. Screw that shit. Y'all can keep the anchovies. I'm good. But outside of that, bro, I'm down. Yo, Hibachi is good. Bro, y'all are me. Bro, I swear to God, actually, you're making me want to fucking order some Japanese food. God damn it. Like, you're literally making me want to call up our local Japanese uh, restaurant down here and, like, wake everybody up in the middle of the night and be like, yo, dude, I want some Japanese food. Order that shit. Bring it down here, please. <laughs> Even though the owner would probably kill me. <laughs> but it'd be worth it. Mm. What's so clean about the MGT? Hey, Bar, just so you know, man, that actually is a collectible. That actually was one of the rare chin bags that came out when they were promoting the new Forza Motorsport. Which I am proud to say that I will be jumping back into as soon as I can get my wheel rig up and running. Um, the only thing that's wrong with my wheel rig right now is that I need to get a new set of pedals. Because right now the pedals on my rig are not working. So I kind of have to get a whole new set, which sucks. Actually, it's not. So, uh, doses, man. No, no, this is what I was doing with my mustache. I had to get rid of all of it, dude. What happened with Adriana? Turned out she was fake as fuck. No, more like she was fake the whole time, so. Oh, dude, I know. Dude, I love Wings of Redemption, man. Wings is a good fucking dude. I've actually had the chance to talk to Wings of Redemption outside of YouTube, and he's a very good dude. Like, he's actually a good guy. I've actually hung with him a few times. Like, and what you see was cool with me. Like, I sat down and I chopped it up with Wings. He's a good dude. Is that pizza? Yeah, I had pizza for dinner last night. Now I've been kind of chomping on extra pizza throughout the night. Yo, Tom, stick around long enough and we'll see, bro. Fupa, what up? Cheese? No, that actually is from Pizza Hut. So. Or as I like to call it, Pizza Slut. <laughs> Oh, actually, no, that's what my older brother used to. My older, my older brother, that before he passed away, he always used to call Pizza Hut, Pizza Slut, and Domino's, Domino's. Sorry, I actually support Wings of Redemption. Damn right I do. Because, dude, anybody that's cool with me, I'm cool with them. 
Like, if you treat me with respect and show me kindness, I'm going to show that same thing in return. Yellow container? There is no yellow container. Oh. You're talking about that gold bottle back there up on the shelf? That's literally some sort of detergent or some shit. We ran out of room in the basement, so I was like, I'll just stick it up there. It's like, go. Yo, it's Bella Venomous. Is... Yeah, I know, Steve. It really has, dude. And I know a lot of people are wondering, am I going to be doing the art streams again for the coffee and chill stuff? And the answer is yes. I will be doing... Um... I will be doing a lot more uh, coffee and chill art streams. I will be doing a lot more gaming streams, sports or gaming. I'm definitely this channel is definitely gonna be gaming, dr gaming driven for sure. Like that's definitely gonna be a thing. Do you think you take wings in a one on one UFC match? Uh, it depends what game. Are we talking UFC four or five? Because I don't have five, but I do have four. You should study. I do plan on doing that. I do plan on doing that. I don't know. I would have to get back into full on fight mode shape first in order for that to happen. But, like, I don't want to fight the guy for no reason. Like, he's a good dude. I fuck with Wings. He's a good dude. He's a real good guy. I wish that dude nothing but the most success and the best wishes going out to him. Yo, cute face people, what up? First off, where did you get that name? That's a funny freaking name. I dig that. Hello, I wonder what you got today. Someone like her? I currently am in a weird situation with that. I'll I'll be talking about that in a whole other thing. Like, no disrespect to Tibbs. I love my boy Tibbs. He's a good dude. Hey, Fortnite. Fortnite. Hey, all right, cool. Uh, adios, amigos. Connor's cat. Man, what the fuck? That is so weird. But like I said, man, I will be doing... This channel is definitely going to be gaming-driven for sure. Um, that is going to be a thing. I will be doing art streams here and there throughout because I know a lot of you older cats that have been around for a while. I know a lot of you guys do enjoy the art streams. I will be doing that for you guys. Uh, me. Yo, Finkelberg. Uh, here later on down the road, like way later down the road, I will definitely be doing um, a little bit of a tour of my stuff and showing off some of the stuff that I've collected over time. What happened between me and Winter? Nothing. Nothing happened between us. Like, her and Tibbs are still together. Her and Tibbs are still a thing. So, you know, she's cool. I'm cool. Tibbs is cool. We're all cool. <laughs> there ain't nothing going on between us. Like, it's nothing but love between the three of us, man. Ah, no, dude. No. Ha, the tracker. Another Tibsy troll. And me, sorry, bro, but you gotta go, because I can tell your ass is trying to start shit, bro. So, sorry, dude. No, don't, don't hit you on the way out, bro. What's an artist stream? Do I draw? Yes, I do. I actually do a lot of hand drawn artwork, a lot of digital artwork. It depends on what I'm feeling that day. Like, 
Earlier yesterday, I sat down and I started to get back into hand drawing artwork for the first time in a long time. Like, I actually started to get back into drawing after not drawing for a little over a year. Like, all last year, I never really drew, like, at all. Actually, I can't remember the last time I even did any artwork outside of yesterday. Like, all last year, I was not able to do any kind of artwork. Like, it sucked. No, I didn't. That's good to know, though. I do appreciate the heads up. Well, like I said, I'm trying not to bring that kind of, like, I don't want the channel to be around real life shit. Let's just say that. Like, I would rather this channel be a fun place for you guys. Where y'all can come in, hang out, enjoy some gaming, enjoy some artwork, hanging out with y'all. Yo, Steven Universe is good. Steven Universe is one of the very, very few cartoons on Cartoon Network that I will actually watch nowadays. Steven Universe, Amazing World of Gumball, and there's a few others. <laughs> uh, like don't get me wrong I'm more into like the anime side of things like I'll definitely watch shows like Spy X Family um uh fucking um Sin City uh Demon City Shinjuku, I believe is the name of it. Like, I'll watch, like, more of the adult-driven, you know, anime stuff. Dude, Sailor Moon is the first anime series I ever watched. But then again, that was before I knew what anime was. So, technically, I guess you could count that as my first anime. If you really want to get technical. I guess you could count that as my very first anime I ever saw. Yo, actually, I will definitely hit you up with some, some suggestions that I know you'll actually get into. And these are shows that I actually watch myself that actually got me in to anime fully, like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, Cowboy Bebop, um, what's another one, um, Outlaw Star. How many of y'all remember Outlaw Star from back in the day, bro? Like, how many of y'all remember Outlaw Star? Like, how many of you guys are that old that y'all remember Outlaw Star from Tsunami back in the day? Yo, Dragon Ball Z is a good one. That Dude, Dragon Ball's got a lot of seasons, though. Like, if you're going to do a season like Dragon Ball, I would suggest going all the way back to, like, the original Dragon Ball. Yo, Skeleton King, what up, dude? I'm doing good, man. Did I ever get the adult power one? Bro, that, dude, I was looking into that for a friend because I actually have a friend that actually is a legitimate midget. No offense to my friend. I love my friend to death. But they are legitimately a midget and they are not able to drive a regular car. So I was looking into some actual stuff that they could drive. Which I know sounds funny, but... You know, they want to be able to drive, and because they can't use a regular car, they need other means of being able to get around. You get any emails? I'm only wondering until they just got one email. Yo, I didn't get the emails, dude. I definitely dig the artwork, dude. How the hell? How do you get a question? How do you get a DUI? In a freaking power wheel. Like, what? 
Why how did how how? Like were you going over the speed limit or under? Cause if you were going over, man, you had to have charged that sucker up, man. You had to have modified that shit somehow. Oh, that makes sense. Do you get to your insurance lane? Huh? Bro, there's a lot of dude. I've actually seen shit like that before. I have actually seen people on TikTok and on Instagram live reels and even on Facebook and YouTube actually driving hoverboards drunk and they will actually get pulled over for that shit. It's actually pretty funny to watch. I'm not going to lie. That shit's actually funny as hell to watch. Like, no joke, that shit is actually funny to watch. Huh. Interesting. Though, like, on the gaming side of things, man, like, obviously outside of Fortnite and Call of Duty, like, what are some games that y'all would actually enjoy to see me Dude, are you kidding, Thomas? I, dude, like I said, Sailor Moon was tech. If you want to get technical, like on a very technical scale, on a technical scale here, Sailor Moon was actually the very first anime, the, the very first anime I ever saw. And back then, I didn't know what anime was. I was just a kid in fucking grade school. So, like, I didn't know what anime was back then until, like, to me, like, as a kid, to me, anime was stuff like Dragon Ball Z, Gundam Wing, uh, Ronin Warriors. Which, fun fact, I actually own Gundam Wing and Ronin Warriors both on DVD, and I own the OAV movies to both of those. So, shout out to Nami for introducing me to anime. Yo, I haven't played Slime Rancher in like a long freaking time. I need to play it. I need to actually play Slime Rancher again, dude. Holy shit. For me, like, when I figured out what anime actually was and I started to dive into it, I would say for the more serious side of things, my very first anime series ever, like when I kind of started to figure it out, was actually Inuyasha. Like Inuyasha was actually my very first introduction into anime. And yes, I have. There, there. I actually have thought about uh, streaming some Resident Evil games, but I need to get my Game Pass back up and going. So that I can do that. Because I was actually going, later today, I was actually going to be streaming some Resident Evil 2, the new one. But unfortunately, my game pass ran out, so I have to wait until I can get that re up. But once I get my game pass back up and running, bro, I'm on that shit, bro. Fun fact, Resident Evil is one of my top favorite game series in the world. I actually own all the movies. Aside from the animated ones, even though I do need to get those on DVD, I should actually probably order those at some point. But I played every Resident Evil game, read all the books, and seen every single movie. Resident Evil, for a zombie horror series, Resident Evil is my shit. Yeah, Res 2 is out. It's been out. Yo, Silent Hill is good. I fuck with the Silent Hill games. 
You haven't played Silent Hill games or that? Bro, both games are my shit. Devil May Cry, Lover Dude, fucking Dante, bro, straight smart ass. Like, honestly, for me, Dante is like, he's like gaming's version of Deadpool. He's like the gaming version of Deadpool. He's a badass, but he's a smart ass. He's basically Deadpool for video games. Yo, no shit, that's what's up. Dude, as a kid, I actually did a lot of cosplay. Like, for Halloween, as a kid, I would always dress up as um, Link from The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> right? Dude, Thomas, you need to get yourself to do it. I'll tell you right now, get the old school Silent Hill games. The original ones are the best. Like, the original old school ones for the older PlayStations, bro, fucking amazing. Dude, one game series I am going to be doing that I do want to get my hands on, and these are two very off-the-wall games, but dude, Blood Rain 1 and 2. The Blood Rain games, oh my god. Like, believe it or not, Blood Rain is probably one of my one of my favorite niche category games. Like, I love the Blood Rain games, dude. Like, those games are so underrated. They are so good. And I need to get my hands on those. And there was no mention of Blood Oh, hell yeah. Dude, you forget. I grew up on everything from Evanescence. Like, when I started to get into rock, fun fact for you guys, Evanescence is the band that got me into rock music. So, for me, my top favorite bands are Evanescence, Disturbed, Black Veil Brides, Linkin Park, which obviously is number one, because clearly I got a bunch of Linkin Park shit, <laughs> clearly. And for my number top five spot, I would probably have to go with Simple Plan. Because Simple Plan is another one that I grew up listening to as well. Dude, believe it or not, I handmade all my shit. Like, like, I had a little plastic sword and shit. Like, it wasn't the actual sword. But you could tell what I was going with, dude. Like, I had a homemade fucking... Uh, tunic, the belt, like, I had everything homemade, bro. Like, that's what I did as a kid. Hence the Pokemon picture on profile. Oh, yo, but, dude, I didn't even notice that, dude. Believe it or not, I'm a Pokemon fan as well. So, if y'all go to my, if y'all ever go to my Facebook and you guys see the emo Pikachu thing, I found that on Google, bro, and I was like, bro, like, that is me right there. Fucking Ford cap, fucking fan t-shirt, wearing all kinds of crazy shit. Like, that's me. Like, I'm that dude. At 33 years old, man, I'm still rocking shit that most 20-year-olds rock. Check out my band, it's called Ghost. Yo, Ghost is the shit. Wait a minute, are you... Wait a sec. Somebody go to that dude's profile. I want to know if that's actually the real uh, Papa Emeritus. Oh my god, yes. Dude, I've, I saw the trailer for that. I was dying laughing, bro. I was like, what the fuck? That is so... It's so genius. Like, it's funny, but it's, it's so genius. I was going to ask for a picture of the Halloween picture, but it would be... No joke, actually, when you get the chance, look that shit up. Like, no joke, actually. First chance you get, go look that shit up. It's all over YouTube. It is so sick. Imagine, 
<laughs> Bro, imagine Pokemon, but in a sense, GTA style. Like, think about that for a minute. It's basically Pokemon mixed with GTA. It's actually funny. Uh, yo, um, uh, to Tata and Meredith, um, unfortunately, I won't be doing any live covers for a while due to the fact that I have a couple strikes on my channel and I'm trying not to get any more strikes. But, there is a but. Maybe in the very near future, when everything settles and all this shit goes away, I'll be able to. But, on the music side of things, I will be working on music for sure. Ooh. Matter of fact, I actually am, speaking of music, I actually am getting my brand new studio headphones today that I just ordered from Amazon. And they're actually really good ones, too. Yo, fire away, Skeleton. What's up, dude? Oh, also, on a side note here, just on a little side note here, Skeleton, go ahead and ask your question. I'm just going on a little side note quest thingy here. But, um, for all y'all wondering, I actually will be doing a, um, a wish list so, for my Amazon. So, if y'all ever do want to get anything for me off of Amazon, uh, starting tomorrow, I will be actually working on that list for you guys. So, bro, I look forward to my future in music, bro. So, the art club, do I want to do a full sketch in color or show them paint? Or show, a, show us them paint? Yo, Skeleton, uh, let me go back and re-look at the artwork later today. And then I'll definitely get back to you for sure. I just gotta go in and take a look at what you, I want to re-look at what you said, because, like, I do like what you have, and I do have a few ideas, so today, like, I'm gonna go back in, re-look it over, and I'm gonna start getting some ideas for that today. I actually got the email the other day, I looked at it, and I've just been kind of, I've been a little bit busy, so I haven't really been able to go over in my head over some ideas, but I will be working on some ideas today, for sure, man. You should collab with Christian W. Chandler. She went through similar things in rocks. Huh. I'll have to check her out. Yo, Godzilla? Oh, gee, bro. Godzilla is the fucking goat of classic, of cult classics, bro. Like, dude, Godzilla is the GOAT of cult classics. And yes, I did see the new one, man. The new Godzilla movie, the Godzilla Minus One. Bro, fucking amazing. Like, dude, the new Godzilla Minus One movie, freaking phenomenal, bro. It was so good. And if you guys have not seen Godzilla Minus One... What are you doing? Go watch that shit. It is so good. Oh, dude, you ain't kidding, bro. That shit was good. I actually had to read the webcomic because of the fact that the, literally just recently, the comic store downtown that I was going to originally order it for, or order it from, actually ended up shutting down because they're moving across town. So, unfortunately, I couldn't get it. But I did read the webcomic version, and dude, it was so good. Uh, 
Uh, what do I think about Varys? Good dude. Very good dude. Bro, that shit was... Bro, don't even get me started on that. Don't even get me started on that, man. My question to that is, how is that not all over the internet right now? Like, how is Superman decking the living shit out of Godzilla? How is that not all over the internet right now? That's my question. How is that not gone viral? Hell, how is that... How is that not like an actual fight? Like, death battle. I freaking love death battle. So to all y'all over on death battle, what are you doing? Get on your shit. Make this happen. Make Superman vs. Godzilla a thing. Please. Oh, favorite comic characters. I have a few, like, I'm more into, like, the underground type comic shit, so there's a few that a lot of people don't really know about that I get into. I'll have to give back, I'll have to dig into a lot of the comics that I've read that are more or less known, like the lesser known ones. I'll have to dig into those and see what I can find for you, but I do have a few that are going through my head that are actually good. I just can't remember the names of them right now because my brain's in basically fuck you. I don't want to think mode today. I think it's the Kelly's people are worried about the Superman movies. Man, screw the Superman movies, dude. Death battle. Get on your shit. Make a Superman versus Godzilla fight happen. Like, that would be the shit. You know, kind of like the Superman versus Goku fight. Varys, hands down. Varys, hands down, taking the win. Oh, that sucks. Hey, you cute face. Let me give you a little bit of advice that I had to learn. And that I had to learn along the way. If he's that quick to split up with you, his ass probably wasn't worth it. And him breaking up with you over text messages, that right there shows that he's a coward. Any man that does that and breaks up with you over text messages like that, nine times out of ten, they're a fucking coward. They def if they're doing that shit, they ain't worth a damn. That dude is a coward for doing that. Like, the dude could have at least told you to your face. He could have at least told you to your face, but instead he wanted to be a coward. Well, there you go. That just shows that he wasn't worth a damn. If he's that quick to break up with you over trivial garbage, his ass wasn't worth a damn. Oh, favorite video game right now. Are we talking story-driven or multiplayer? Because story driven, I've really been getting in. Okay. So, story driven, I've really been getting into Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Super fun game. Fucking love that game so far. 
I've really been getting into uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland as far as like story driven games go recently. Super fun game. Super dude, I love the characters in that game. Um and for multiplayer games, I've been getting in back into Call of Duty, Fortnite. Um, definitely the new game, The Finals. I've been playing a little bit of The Finals. That shit's fun. Um, I've also been getting into Flash Party ranked matches on Steam, which is super fun. Oh, dude, d ds the shit, bro. Bro. Hold up, I got you. Uh, what is that? Everybody always wonders how into D and D I am. Well, here you go. Bam! What does that tell you? Classic right here, man. So yeah, your boy rocks some old school shit. Just saying. But for D and D style games, I've definitely been getting into um, what's that one game? Diablo. I've been getting into the new Diablo Four a little bit more as well. Uh, dude, yeah. I'll see what I can, I'll try to work some shit out because like I said, I am trying to focus on getting this channel up to 2k subs by the end of the year. But, when I'm not doing that and I'm not working on music, bro, I'm definitely down. It's been a while since I've played, so I'm a bit rusty, but... Oh God! Why did he sweat up with you? Whoa, 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 yo, yo, cute face. What, what was his? What was his BS? What was his little excuse? Like, what was his garbage excuse? Exactly, bro. Exactly. Speaking of which, let me see something here. Oh, wow. See, if you want to wait, that should be your choice. Alright, checking out the only game with. <laughs> Great. Fucking love Gray still plays. If he can't respect you, then he ain't worth a damn. If that dude cannot respect you and your boundaries, he ain't freaking worth a damn. No, I'm not a skeleton. I'm actually working more on this. What are you eating? Ah, pizza. I had pizza for dinner. And some good old pizza for dinner. Yo! Dude, I did not know Pine Burning Body had some new songs out. I'm gonna have to check that shit out. I'm gonna check out UABB's new music. I'll check it out later on. Ah, oh, you're good, man. Oh, you're good, Skeleton. No worries, bro. Oh, I am gonna send you guys a suggestion in chat here. And this is something that I definitely recommend you guys watch because this dude that I'm about to show you guys. 
is actually one of the biggest reasons why I got through a lot. And I mean, a lot of the stuff that I went through over the past 10 years. Like, this dude who really helped me out in a major way towards the end of the cycle of me being messed with. And I do suggest, like, first chance you guys get to watch this, I definitely recommend checking this guy out. Hey, you're good, dude. But I definitely suggest checking out that link to the guy I just sent you all the interview to. Um... Like that dude too long. Um, how many of you guys? All right, for those of you that play Call of Duty, how many of you guys remember the character Ronin from Call of Duty Warzone? How many of you guys remember the character Ronin? Because this does tie into where I'm going with it. Hey, yo, Connor, welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Yo, I'm seriously considering fucking booting on my old computer and working on music while I thought to y'all, man. I'm seriously considering that. I'm seriously considering that shit. Well, let me show you guys who Roman is. Eh, yeah, because I have to plug a bunch of shit up and I don't really feel like plugging every ticket to get it running. But let me show you guys who Ronan is. And this is a guy that I do want to get my hands on, like, really badly. Wait, I got some free shit in the store. Hold on, I got some free stuff in the store. When did that happen? Where is my free stuff? Oh, got a gift pack. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, yes. What did I get? Ooh, got a new uh, battle highlight. Nice. I'll take that. But let me show y'all who Ronin is right quick. Let me go in here to let me go in here to multiplayer and I'll show you guys who Ronin is. Because this does play into the link that I sent you guys. Let's see if I can find his ass. Because I do want to get my hands on this character. I do not have him yet, and I do want to get my hands on him. Like so bad. Where is Ronin? I know you are here. Where are you out? I'm gonna sign a complete dumbass and I'm completely missing him. I don't see shit. Oh, right here. Here he is right here. This is Ronin. That's my dude Ronin right there. Now as you can see I don't have him unlocked. But. That's my dude Ronin right there. Now, you're probably thinking, well, how does that, what does that have to do with the link? Well, let me tell you. 
that link I sent you is actually an interview by one of my favorite YouTube creators, uh, the Mulligan Brothers, who actually ended up doing an interview with them. And I'm telling you guys right now, you guys take like just like say how long is it? Hang on, here, let me look. Oh, we got some new sheet going out. Wait, what is this? Hold on. What is this? I just got to learn more. Oh, yo, is this going to be free? Because this actually looks fun. Oh, damn, it's not. That sucks. But if you take, like... Say, like, an hour and... An hour and 35 minutes tops. Like, if you take, like, an hour and a half and go check out that link, Trust me when I say you guys will see why that dude inspired me to keep going and keep on just not giving up. Like, that dude really, you know, instilled that one more day, that just keep on going one more day thing into my head. And that's where I got that from. So a little bit. But I'm telling y'all right now, that link that I sent y'all in the comments... I promise you guys, the minute you guys check out that video, like, that literally gave me chills hearing his story. And how he was born, how he came up, like, I literally got goosebumps just fucking thinking about it, dude. But, fun fact, I did actually model my uh, current setup in Call of Duty. On Warzone, I actually did model my setup very similar to how his real life rifle is set up. I got mine set up to a similar uh, setup that he actually runs in real life. And trust me, I say that thing's a beast. I freaking love my rifle that I have on there. Yo, Skona, welcome back, man. Did I ever get the email? Let me look right now and I can tell you. Okay, I want to look here. I'm pretty sure I did. And did he? Yeah, that's so uh, all of it's so uh, what the fuck? Sorry, I was checking the status on something. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong freaking email. Duh. I just realized I was looking at the wrong freaking email like a dipshit. Duh. Uh, All right, I'm not seeing it right now, but then again, Gmail is acting up a little bit, but I will check for sure.
All right, hang on, y'all. I need to get into my email here. And I will check for you. Yes, it's me. Thank you. Also, on a side note, if you guys ever do want to donate, my cash app will always be in the description. So if you guys do want to donate at all, my cash app is right there in the description for y'all. So, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. So, uh, Hey, Jay. Uh, Jay Anderson. Okay, yeah. I got your email right here, dude. I'll have to check that out more as soon as I get done with the stream. But, uh, do I ever worry about my future? Not really. The reason why I don't worry about it is because I know where I'm, I know where my future is headed, and I love it. My future's headed back to where it should have been the whole time, which is me hanging out on here, doing my gaming, doing my thing. That's where my future's at, as of right now. And if anybody tries to stop that, well, guess what? They're being gotten rid of, aren't they? Bruh. That's why by the end of this year, your boy's going to have over 2,000 subs. So I can start making money. So I can start paying bills. So your boy can get back to where he used to be and actually making real money again. So I know what I'm doing for the rest of my life. I'm set, bro. Plus, you got to figure, man. You also have to take into account... Um... The music I'm going to be releasing here very soon. Uh, the clothing line that I'm going to be releasing once I hit a thousand subs. Do I have Minecraft? I used to. I still do. I just haven't played in like forever. Bear in mind, Skeleton, I'm that motherfucker that will build up a giant house of TNT and light that shit off and watch it go kablooey. I'm that dude, man. I'm that guy that will make an entire tower of TNT and light that shit just to watch the game glitch out. But then, no, thank you. So if you want a demolition type of guy, right here. Let me know. Yo, these are actually sick. Sorry, I'll check my Instagram real quick. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, I wanted to pop on here and let y'all know what I'm going to be having coming up. Um. Bro. I'm, dude, when it comes to Fortnite, I'm a tactical kind of person. Like, I love playing the long game. I love playing the tactical long game. Well, here's the thing. I have to make it work. There is no second shot for me. 
There is no plan B for me. This is my shot. This is my year to make shit happen. So, me not making it ain't even in the question, bro. That ain't even in the same category or in the same vocabulary. Hey, oh yeah, let me put it to you this way, bro. If you have a plan B, you're taken away from your plan A. And when you take away from your plan A, you're setting yourself up to fail. Just saying. I mean, just saying, dude. Just being real with you. And that right there, Elliot, was you showing that you're a troll. So, deuces, man. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, brother. Just saying. All right, thank you, Kendra. Finally, someone said it. What's the point in trolling? Hey, yo, cute face. Um, I will send you my email, and then you can send me an email back with your Instagram. Oh, it was. But if y'all do want to send me an email, now y'all can send me an email anytime you guys want. But how was it? Well, let's see. Talking about Pam, Plan Boy. Talking about Plan B crap, talking about strikes, um, all that shit. You can tell that it was a troll because they were talking about Plan B garbage and this and that and the other. Like, It's pretty easy to pick up on whenever you kind of pay attention long enough. Hell, even Connor can tell you that it was a troll. Like, You can tell by how they were talking. Like, it's not hard to pick up on when, you know, and see, that's the thing. They want to make it look like, here's the thing, Cyber, and this is no hate towards you. This is, a, this is just how they operate. They love to make it look like they're giving advice sometimes. They will always try to make it look like, oh, but what if this doesn't work out? But what if this? But what if that? But what if what? I'm literally on the road to success right now. Like, I'm literally on the road to a thousand subs. Like, I'm doing good. Matter of fact, let me see where I'm at right now, sub-wise, currently.
Oh yeah, 448. We're definitely doing good, man. We are on that road. We are under. We are literally. We are literally 52 subs away from being at the thousand mark, dude. I know, at the 500 mark. We are literally 50 subs away from being at the 500 mark. <laughs> Terrence, I know, I kind of fucked up a little bit. But I do plan on finishing getting it, but, yeah. Are they saying at 2,000 subs you can be money? I can hit 1,000 subs. I can get monetized at 1,000 subs. And once I hit that 1,000 mark, it's game on. My goal for the end of this year is 2,000 subs for the end of this year. 2,000 subs at the end of this year is what I'm aiming for. So hopefully that will be a thing. So, but like I said, my channel is going to definitely be gaming driven. I'm going to be definitely doing a lot of gaming on console, on PC, all that shit. So, you guys will get to see me do a lot of shit and have fun competing. So, And a lot of people don't know this, but once you hit a thousand, for, this is for anybody that wants to do YouTube as a career. And don't get me wrong, it's a very, it's a very fun career to have. It really is. Because a lot of people don't realize at one point I was making money on YouTube. I was actually doing well for myself. And then obviously the troll community happened and yeah. But Having a career on YouTube is probably one of the funnest jobs you can have because you can pick your own hours. You can choose to do whatever content you want to do. And that is true. That, that is true to an extent. You also have to consider this. Merchandise. Sponsor payouts, all that shit. You gotta take all that into consideration. But if you have strikes, can you swim on those? Yes, you can. It's just when you get strikes, those videos that get struck don't get payouts. The way that it works, because like I said, I've been monetized before. I've gotten paid by YouTube before. So I'm very well aware of how they operate. And the way they work is, um, let's say, for a prime example, let's say, Cyber, let's say that you're doing, let's say you're doing a video on, say, Penguin Z. And you randomly get a copyright strike on that channel. That video that you did then will not make money. You'll still make money on all your other videos that are not copyright stricken. Or you'll still make money off of those other videos. Just not that one that got struck. Yes, that is, Kendra. That's very true. Which is why I'm working on getting the thousand subs. For this month, and then 2,000 subs by the end of the year. So I'm really working my ass off on cranking out the content, coming up with ideas. So, speaking of which, y'all, um, I'm going to actually end the stream right here because I actually am going to be setting up for a gaming stream here in a bit. I'm going to take like about a 10 15 minute break. Then we're going to pop back on here and pump out another stream for you guys. But uh, with that being said, I love you guys. And I'll catch you guys in just a few minutes. So stick around and I'll be right back, y'all. Love you guys. Peace.